I just missed getting it on camera but there was a big coyote just there up there where the rocks are and he saw us and he started heading towards us and then he disappeared into the brush there somewhere right in someone's backyard but if you look here where we are we're kind of in the middle of nowhere but there's a few big rich people houses here up on the up on the ridge line up there. Yeah, I can't believe that coyote. Just up there. It's a big one too. Damn it. Who's been living in there, huh? Who's been living in there? Yeah, somebody. Somebody's living in there. Hold up, hold up. There's coyote tracks down there. Stay, stay, stay. Stay. Alright, we got... Looks like coyote tracks down there. Pretty deep peanut. Uh, we ain't crossing here. It's too deep. Can't tell on camera, but that's uh, about 15 foot straight up and down, more or less. <coughs> I don't want a broken ankle in here. We just have to find an easier crossing. Time for a cup of tea in a minute. All right. All right, we found an easier way, huh, Peanut? We're going to have a cup of tea down here, although it's obvious there's a fair bit of coyote activity here as well, but uh, it's pretty nice. I've never been in this little spot before. tree roots they're pretty cool <laughs> look at that big old gnarly tree here actually I think I might have a cup of tea here it's pretty nice little waterfall peanut seems to like it and I can keep my, my back against the tree in case some cougar or coyote come in
great little stove. You can smell some creatures because the wind's blowing. The wind's coming from that direction. And look at them. You can smell something. Now oh, that ball fast. Okay, no creatures, no creatures. This little camp stove is awesome, packs down real small and it's got its own ignition here. Um, it's got its it's got its own ignition button here. Clicky click. Um, titanium. I run the blended fuel on these. It's the butane propane mix. Works great. And this Kavir stove is awesome. It packs down so small. I mean, it, it packs down inside my cup, inside my Stanley. Um, this dude be here. And these are fantastic as well. I love them. I've used these things for years. They come with two cups and a lid. But anyway, this uh, Camp 3 titanium stove from Kovia is a high quality stove they're not these little cheap jet stoves that you get on Amazon uh, with the 
Those little cheap jet stoves, they shoot a flame out like, like your finger and it comes out really fast but it just burns the centre of your pot. These distribute the heat outward so there's more of an even distribution of heat underneath your stove and it's worth paying a little extra for these because they, they last forever. I had one years ago and I ended up, I ended up giving it to to one of my neighbours when I moved when I moved from the UK to the US, but uh, glad I got one. And uh, of course, I'll put links in the description for what I have here, in case you guys uh, also take a liking to to some of this kit. And that's it, it's, it's pretty small. And there's there's one of my favourite uh, picnic knives up against it to give the idea of scale. Now these knives are awesome if you've never seen these before. It's somewhat similar to the old Pinel, but I think it's actually superior. It has a lock here. You just slide that down with your thumb and the blade is fixed now. It's old bear. This is the XL, this is the bigger one. Beautiful wooden handle. I rub mine down with sandpaper and put some stain on it and then beeswax. And the beeswax, as well as making it waterproof, also makes it kind of grippy for your hand. And the hold are wonderful edge these knives because they're pretty thin. Really great for camping. I love them. And of course uh, I've got my uh, I got my sport knife from New Zealand. These are these are fantastic. This is in my pocket all the time no matter what. And if you live in an area that's got pretty tight knife restrictions this are probably you'll get away with. It's got a three inch blade. It's not a locking blade, but it does lock when you wrap your hand around it. Blade can't close. Yeah, nice. Great workhorse knife with awesome um, steel. Can't remember the steel, but I'll, I'll stick it on the screen if I, if I remember. Made in New Zealand. Great knives, these things. Look kind of funky, but I, I love them. They're great. You can open them with one hand. There's a model number for this stove. Comes in this little, little dinky carry case. I love the way titanium blues when you've uh, when you've put some heat to it. Comes with instructions. I don't, I don't need the instructions. Great little, great little bit of kit. While I'm at it, because I love this Stanley stuff, stainless steel, Stanley water flask. Nice, nice uh, mouthpiece there. Great for drinking and pouring. And they, they open right up for cleaning. A uh, nice big wide mouth. I stick these on the campfire uh, sometimes. I've, I've got one, that's all. <laughs> this is my clean one. I've got another one that I stick on campfires. Work great.
there's the coyote tracks in there. We haven't been in here yet. Maybe hunting down here. Yeah, the coyotes we got here. There's some pretty big um, alpha coyotes. The one I saw this morning, he was a big, he was a big one, and he had no hesitation in heading towards us. And he was only about a hundred feet away. But um, he disappeared into the into the brush as he was coming towards us. Kind of freaked me out a bit because <laughs> didn't know where he was. <sighs> and California gun laws and all that. So no gun. Just pull out my my trusty pocket knife. That's all I got. But luckily he didn't come towards me. Sometimes they do. Luckily, luckily he didn't uh, decide to come and attack me and Peanut. But he was sure curious. And here, where where I where I live and where I live in Southern California, <laughs> coyotes are a bit of a nuisance because they're not they're not getting shot like they are in Oklahoma and other places like that. So they're not really afraid of people. They, they, they keep their distance most of the time, but they're not really afraid. And uh, they'll think nothing of jumping into your garden and grabbing your dog and taking off with it. So for the small dogs, or the smaller dogs, <laughs> they have a coyote, uh, a coyote proof little outfit that they wear and when I first saw them I thought it was a joke I'll, I'll put a picture here and it isn't a joke honestly this <laughs> these things are real all these spikes so the coyote doesn't want to doesn't want to grab it but uh, yeah people people are always losing their little dogs around around our area uh, one of one of my neighbors he, he was really surprised. He's got a six foot fence and that's nothing to a coyote. Coyote jumped over his six foot fence, grabbed his little dog and jumped back over the fence with it. That was it, gone. Which is, uh, you know, terrible for the dog owner, but you really gotta be wary of these coyotes. They're, they're killers, that's what they do. They hunt and kill. They're experts at it. Same as a cougar. They're expert killers. And uh, where we were today, the cyclists that go through there, most of them have bells. On the, you know, you hear the bells. It's like sleigh bells or something. Just uh, cougars know to get out of the way. I got the urge to go camping so there's going to be some camping videos coming before too long. We're going to get moving, do a bit more walking. There'll be links in the description if anyone fancies any of that kit that I was using. It's a good kit, I like it. And not a bad price either. All right, we got to get out of here. Lift, lift. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a hip, 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 hip. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, boy. Right.